Uh, my name is Andy Worthington. I'm a, an independent uh, investigative journalist. I've been writing about Guantanamo, researching the stories of the prisoners, and campaigning for the prison's closure since 2006. This protest here today outside Parliament is for Shaka Arma, who is the last British resident in the prison. Um, Shaka Arma is one of 166 men still held in Guantanamo and he's one of 86 of those 166 men who were cleared for release by an interagency task force that President Obama established when he took office in 2009. So three and a half years ago this task force of sober responsible government officials and representatives of the intelligence agencies released a report explaining who the US government should continue to hold, put on trial and who they should release. Shaka's on that list. Uh, those people who were approved for release are still held because of obstruction by Congress and because of a lack of political courage on the part of President Obama. In the short term, it would give the Republicans ammunition to use against him if he was to, uh, to revisit his failed promise to close the prison and start releasing some of these men. So he, uh, he finds himself paralyzed with inaction uh, and unable to do anything, even though he's um, come up with some great uh, words about why Guantanamo is such a toxic place, legally, morally and ethically. Um, he, was, he came up with this, uh, this, these fine words about Guantanamo in a speech uh, back in May. Um, and he did that because he was um, provoked into having to respond because the prisoners embarked on a huge hunger strike back in February. The uh, majority of the prisoners have been in a hunger strike. Um, at, the, at the current time, 46 of them are being force-fed, which is a horrible, brutal way of, uh, of, of uh, keeping people alive. President Obama had to respond um, because of the hunger strike, because the world's media suddenly woke up and paid attention. International bodies were putting pressure on, on the president. Um, and he said that he would um, start working on, on releasing prisoners again. That was two months ago. We're still waiting. President Obama knows how to talk the talk, but he's very bad when it comes to the necessary actions that are required. So this campaign is to try and secure the release of just one man, the last British prisoner in Guantanamo, Shaka Arma, cleared for release, hunger striker, uh, a man who, uh, whose family is patiently waiting for his return in Battersea, his British wife and his four British children.